Hey guys, a question that comes up quite often around here is, uh, should I use a lighter weight and go faster and keep proper form, or should I use a heavier weight or dumbbell and go a bit slower and I may end up getting a little bit sloppy? So this is a common question that's always asked as people are starting a new program or progressing through a program and just trying to find the right weights. In a couple of my programs, as you're just getting started, I don't prescribe specific weights or amounts of weights to use because everyone's sort of starting at their own level. So you have to determine on your own how much weight to use. Often during my introductory videos for a particular workout, I'll say something like, this is a weight that you should be able to do about 15 times or so without stopping if you were fresh. And that would help you gauge like what weight you should be using for this particular workout. But really the question comes down to the fundamental basic principle that we want to prioritize our movement and how we approach a workout. We wanna have proper form and technique and then increase speed and intensity. And that's just a balance that we constantly have to navigate. For example, you might have a workout that has dumbbell strict press. Well, dumbbell strict press can get really, really challenging with heavy weight. And with heavier weights, maybe you're doing a set of 10. It can go really slowly. You might have to take a number of breaks and you might actually start to break form. You might start arching your back and pushing up and you know being really all over the place there. And does it make sense to do that or does it make sense to do those 10 reps perfect form with a little bit of speed to them, or maybe it's as many reps as you can in a minute with as much speed as possible. Well, the answer is, let's go with proper form and technique and increase the intensity going as quickly as we can while maintaining that proper form and technique. And then, only then, when we can maintain proper form and technique and intensity, do we increase our weights. Uh, I often joke that if someone comes up to me after workout or, or leaves a comment after workout and they say, gosh, I really should have gone a little bit heavier on that one. I, that is great. That's music to my ears. I would rather have you say, I should have gone a little bit heavier on that one than I went too heavy and I hurt myself and I took myself out of the game. Most of the people that I work with are between you know, the ages of 38 and 60 and we don't have time to be injured, time to be hurt, time to heal ourselves. It's just not something where we don't want to get injured while we're working out. We want our working out to make us bulletproof going into the real world. So when push comes to shove and you're not sure exactly which weight you should use, my advice is always go a little bit lighter, go a little bit faster with proper form and technique so that, that intensity is high. Intensity is the magic pill for us to create weight loss and uh, build capacity in our bodies. We need that intensity. We need to push ourselves towards that higher level of RPM that we think of the car's RPMs. We want to be close to, but not in the red line as we're working out with proper form and technique. Unless the workout is something where it's supposed to be heavy and low reps. Another question that comes up around this idea is, you know, if I lift heavy weight, will I get bulky? Or if I lift light, light weight, will I not be building as much muscle? Well, one of the fun things is when we break down muscle, it grows back stronger. And there's multiple ways to break down muscle so that it grows back stronger. For women that follow my programs, uh, some of them were wondering like, will I get too bulky? Well, the answer to that is no. Bulkiness comes from plenty and tons of food and calories. You have to be deliberate, especially as a woman, to get bulky. It's really hard to actually get bulky. We can get toned very easily with diet and nutrition. All right, For guys, same thing uh, goes, except that when we do eat more, it is easier for us to build on some muscle. It's just a little bit more natural with our bodies. But when we break down muscle fibers, whether we're lifting a heavy weight for low reps or a lighter weight for higher reps, that muscle is breaking down. There's actually micro tears that happen in that muscle. And then when it, when it heals, from that stressor, it gets stronger. So we can get stronger and develop muscle tissue and stronger muscles by doing light weights fast or higher reps of light weights and lower reps of heavy weights. And that's why in a lot of these workouts, you'll see this really mixed in, uh, heavier weight, 
low rep workouts are built in, higher rep, lighter weights are baked into this thing as well because we want to attack all of those sort of metabolic pathways. Uh, we want to suffer in multiple ways and create lots of diverse experiences for uh, our muscles and these muscle groups. So let's summarize all this up. When in doubt, proper form, proper technique first, then intensity, then increase the weight down the road. There is no rush to increase the weight as long as we can move with proper form and technique and move with intensity. Intensity meaning, ooh, this is a little bit painful as we're doing this thing, so we like that. And we can gain muscle and strength with low rep heavy weights and higher rep lighter weights. Both of those will give us strength, will build muscle, will uh, give us results that we are looking for. And ideally, we're mixing all of that together. But as we get started, totally okay to go with lighter weights to make sure we're building a proper foundation of form and technique. So those are my answers to those questions today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have more questions for me, please don't hesitate to leave uh, questions in the comments below or email them directly to me. I will often respond directly to you or I'll just create a video so that we can all enjoy the answer to these questions. All right, let's get some workouts in.